Welcome to Hump Day. It's Wednesday. It's zero degrees, but I expect some of you are colder. So let me know your temperatures uh, because I bet zero is like nice and toasty. Yeah, a bit of a struggle to come out here after dinner. Um, sausages. Uh, but just had to do it. I'm thinking uh, to go to London and work, that's why there wasn't much of a video yesterday. Um, thinking, okay, it's cold, I'm going to see how, over the next few days, see how hot we can get it in here. So I need to check the details. I don't know if we can actually do a bit of primer in. So what I'm thinking of doing is, like, we're nearly there. Um, we've got the front hubs that I've got to get my dad to fix. Um, we're waiting for the engine, that's all done, ready to come down. So again, in the next few, three weeks, um, that's that done. Um, we do have the doors and bonnet and things that I'm ignoring. Um, but yeah, wiring, I can't do too much more until we get all your lights in. Um, so I'm thinking, well, let's start masking it up in the next episode. And uh, yeah, start prepping for paint. But just, yeah, I'm feeling it's just maybe too cold. But we'll see, you know, we can catch a day which is 10, 12 degrees yeah, um, in the garage. Maybe we can go for it. Uh, but worst case it's going to have to be masked up anyway, there's not much more I can do on the inside. You know, I could start putting all the interior in, and, but I, just, I think that's pointless at the moment. Do you? Do you think that's pointless? I suppose it doesn't really matter if I mask it all up, all the seats can go in, but I'm just worried about all the dust and stuff. But yeah, need to have a think about that. See what your views are, what do you think I should be doing next? Uh, I've got to do a bit more sealing around the roof. I have got the sealant, you just need to remind me. And I need a bit of a clear up, so I'm trying to think whether we should just have a clear up in this session. A really exciting video of me cleaning a bench up. Yeah, should we do that? Do you want me to see me clean my bench up? No. I don't really need to clean, it just needs a bit of a dust. And uh, we're there. Yeah. Let's clean the bench up and see what fluff we can find. So um, if you're not into bench cleaning, maybe turn off. I oh, don't turn off. You might find something fun. Yep, this is my bench. Look, I don't even have, well, I've just got room. Uh, still I can. So we'll point the heater at the bench. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Let's find a black bag first and do a bit of skim cleaning. There's a box there actually for sending my stuff back in as well. Is this? Yeah, this is it, isn't it? This is the hell. Yeah. Looks like there's some used to be some switches on top here. Aftermarket, I guess they wouldn't have come like that, would they? As a as a part of the car. Let me know what they might have been for. Uh, do you all remember that? Bright orange cellulose. Oh, we missed the race car. We missed the race car. Oh, a load of pegs from the wife. Um, washing basket, bit of paint on them. I think we're best not putting them back. Anyone know what these are? What are these? Aren't they? Now don't get me wrong, I really like the idea of getting my shell shot blasted. I think it was the right thing to do at the right time. Um, but maybe uh, just not in my garage. 
especially um, because I keep it so clean. Obviously the dust just got everywhere. So just gonna quick release this painting can jig thingy thingy holder thing that I use, as all professionals do. Obviously it's screwed to the bench so it doesn't wobble about. So that's that. I think we need to find Henry now and do a little bit of hoovering. Are you enjoying this, Chris? Oh, I'm gonna dedicate this one to you, Chris. Hey, hey, how about that, Chris? I could put things on the bench. Um, my mum bought me this bench about 22 years ago, I think, when we moved into this house. Um, rest in peace, mum. Uh, thanks. Uh, I don't think it was too much. I think she picked up from a DIY store, but it's been going 20 years, so it ain't been too bad. So, yeah, a little moment. So, if we ever move into a big workshop, that will come with us, look at that. Won't even, uh, won't, loads of room for the beer there. I keep asking Stella to sponsor me, but they're not doing it at the moment. Slowly, slowly, catch the monkey. You know, nice little beer fridge in the corner here or something, or down below. Anyway, that's my allotted hour, gone. Don't let the wife know I can hoover. Um, I'll be in trouble otherwise. Um, even less working on the car. But anyway, yeah, a bit of a bench cleared. I've got a bit of rubbish around my feet, but that's just a bag and stuff we need to throw that away. Found a few bits and bolts and stuff. Found some old steering uh, steering rack. Thinking my bobs, so that's good. Uh, found a few nuts and bolts that was missing. Found some more drills. Uh, found a lot of sand. Uh, what we do is we'll fire up the compressor next time and do a bit of an air blow to try and get rid of it a bit more. But uh, yeah, that's a good start. At least we've got something to put down. I must try and keep it better. Hey, Chris. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's it. So yeah, give me your views. Oh, what's the temperature going up to? I've had the heat on here in an hour now. Not that it's really done much to the best of that thing. It's made my feet go up though. Uh, it says five degrees now, but I can't remember if that said five degrees at the beginning of the video. Did I show it on the video? I don't think I did, did I? Damn it. I wouldn't have brought this room up by five degrees an hour, would it? A little, little heater. What's this one say? Uh, that one says two degrees. Must be warmer over there. <sighs> anyway. Alright. Yeah. What do you think I should do next? And don't say work on the pickup. I'm trying not to. I've got some little panels that have turned up. So we may just do an update video tomorrow. Um, get over there. Because, um, yeah, Saturday, we've got Nathan over there. He's going to help me do some measuring on the jig. And then I've got to cook him a Sunday roast. Or, or Saturday roast after that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully by Saturday, we'll have the subframes perfectly lined up. And he wants me to buy some spirit levels or something. Um, he's asked for a tape measure as well, for Christ's sake. Uh, so uh, yeah, we've got the subframes lined up and then we're going to be able to get cracking on that over that in the next few months as well. Get some of it a bit more solid while it's still wobbly wobbly. Anyway, have a good evening. See you tomorrow for another exciting episode.